Ladies and gentlemen, it's your girl Chidera here on another episode of Chidera's Corner, bringing you guys an amazing special guest all the way from the motherland to DMV. He's killing it in the industry of real estate here in the DMV area and many other more areas. Um, it is with, I don't know, a warm ado. I don't know how to say it. Whatever. It's with pleasure, great pleasure that I bring to stage today our special guest, Mr. Easy, the easy way. Easy you way. Know. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, right? Yeah, I, I need to figure out a way to get like a clapping machine going mm -hmm. so that when I have you on here and I press like the audio, it's like, Good. you know. Yeah. Yeah, I got to find that. I, I, I think I had something. I thought I had something. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's good. Okay. <laughs> so welcome. Welcome to Jadera's Corner. We've been trying to coordinate time to meet and Amazing have this happen. amazing conversation today. Yes, I'm excited that we're able to make that happen. So, um, Mr. Easy, I'm going to you know, open the floor and allow you to introduce yourself to our guests, or I say our guests, to our viewers today. <laughs> viewers. Hey, guys, what's up? What's up? My name is Easy. They call me the easy way. I'm a real estate agent. I can help you buy houses all over the United States, especially in Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia. I help people buy homes in Dubai. If you want to buy a home in Ghana, I got connects in Ghana. I have connects in wow. Nigeria. If there's anything real estate related you want to talk to me about, I'm always available. 24-7, no days off. I love how he always makes his emphasis on anything real estate, because that's what I'm really yeah. talking about. Yeah, we're talking about real estate. About. Stay alone. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, no, no talk about love or nothing like that. I'm just kidding. Why not love? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, we're, we won't talk about love today. Yeah. Um, guys, today we're talking about the million homes journey with mm -hmm. Easy Way. And mm -hmm. this title came about because a couple of years ago, I don't know if you remember, we we're having a conversation and you had mentioned that you are hoping to, or your goal mm -hmm. is to put a million people into a million houses homes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I said to myself that's a crazy number crazy. you know when we very crazy and I was like mm -hmm. yo is this guy serious mm -hmm. but then for the past couple of maybe like four or five years I've seen your trajectory I have seen how um you've been working diligently consistently and mm -hmm. I just want to tell you that I really admire that I see him at the African store mm -hmm. I'd be on the phone with this man and I could hear him on the other side and he's talking to some stranger outside some Caribbean store. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my man, blah, blah, blah. And then you see him with his car before he got the new Tesla. Mm -hmm. What is that thing called? What's that thing oh, called? Oh, the Cybertruck. Oh, the Cybertruck. Cyber oh, modest yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he tells the guy on the phone, I got it for free. <laughs> Elon Musk <laughs> gave it to me for free. <laughs> oh, it's not, you remember that. Oh, wow. No, I sure that. do. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. You know, you ask you how much it costs. How much do you pay for it? I'm like, yeah, exactly. I got it. Exactly. He, he got the connect. Yeah. You know, my my man. Mm. man, you have had an, you know, an incredible mission to place a million people in a million home. Now, mm. can you share with us what inspired that ambitious goal? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I just, um, it, it all began with me because when, initially when I was trying to purchase a home, and when I was trying to get into the real estate business, there was nobody I could look to. There was nobody in my community that I could look to and say, oh, I could go talk to that guy and that guy would tell me what to do. So a lot of, mm. a lot of the things I was doing is trial and error. So I read a book, I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, then I read this other book. Then I, at one point I wanted to do flipping, at one point I wanted to do this. And I just didn't even know which direction to go, how much money to save, how much I needed to have. Uh, but eventually I was able to purchase a home and I purchased, mm. you know, I purchased several homes after that. And I was just like, yeah, like, and the more I started educating people about it, I realized there's so many people who don't really know about it. And I realized how just owning one property could just change the tra trajectory of their family. So wow. just by you owning one property, and if you leave that for your children, like it changes like the whole direction of the life of your children because the, 
when you pass away, they're going to inherit that property. They could sell that property. They could make it a family home. So I just mm. wanted to put, be able to put a million families in a million homes. They help a million people. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. How, how, how are you going so far? How's it going? You got numbers? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even close. <laughs> no, that's I'm not, not even good. close. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to be close. I'm not even close. But what that number also does for me, it also motivates me to do, because a million, a million families is a high number, right? So that means yeah. everything yeah. I do has to be on a higher level. So if my peers are working six or seven hours a day, my goal is to put a million families in a million homes. I can't work six or seven hours a day. I need to figure out, yeah, I have to double what they're working. I have to find different strategies to reach a larger amount of people than they they could reach. So, you know, so that number kind Mm -hmm. of helps make me a better better person, like better person just in different ways. you're accountable, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I love that. I love that. Yeah. So you take us back to when you first started in real estate. What real estate, really motivated you to enter the field? And how did you, did your early experiences kind of shape mm-hmm. the vision you have today? Yeah, I had two journeys in real estate. My first journey in real estate was purchasing that very first property. The very, very first property I purchased, I was 25 years old. I p- wow. purchased a condo. Yeah. That was like right. my, that was the that's the one journey. I purchased a condo. Then every year after that, I kept on purchasing condos for five years. So I purchased five condos. Right. Wow. Then you know you get. I got to a point where I was talking to different people and I was learning that this condo thing is not really, it's not really the best move. There are mm-hmm. better moves. The better move would be to purchase a multi-unit building. So it's a purchasing condos. So my sixth property was a four unit building I purchased in DC. You know, wow. I purchased that. So I purchased some more properties after that. Then, so that's my first life as a real estate. Yeah, in real estate. Yeah. Then later on, what happened, my second beginning in real estate was um, because I've been purchasing all these properties all this time. These are years. So everybody in my circle of influence knows that when it comes to real estate, easy purchases a lot of properties. He has a lot of tenants. So I'm going to get advice from easy. So this guy comes to me and he asks me, hey, I'm trying to purchase a home. Can you connect me to a real estate agent? So I connect him to a real estate agent and I tell the real estate agent, hey, you know, that's my guy. I take care of him. But after the deal, give me something like a referral fee. Mm-hmm. So the guy comes back. It was my is it's like a million dollar property. So Whoa. the real estate agent comes back and just tells me, you know, basically like, nah, like, you know, yeah, like it's illegal. <laughs> but uh, it's true though. He's, I mean, now that I'm a real estate agent, I know it's true. Like it's illegal. Real estate agents are only supposed to give referral fees to other real estate agents. Mm, gotcha. So, so when that happened, you know, I calculated how much he possibly made from that million dollar deal, and I was, um, I was very disappointed. But that anger pushed me to go get my own real estate license, right? Yeah. That's how I got became a real estate agent. So that's my second beginning Sorry. in real estate. So I became wow. a real estate agent. But guess what? What I became in a real, I became a. Oh, wait. Can't hear you. I think something happened to your volume. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can hear you now. I think you're back. Oh, okay. I think you're clapping. Really? Yeah. It keeps clapping right. over and over again. Oh, you know what? Technical difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I got my real estate license and it was very difficult to get deals. I, you know, I, in my mind, I thought as soon as I got the license, I'm going to be getting million dollar deals, million dollar deals, 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 but I couldn't get any deals. So I now went mm. and I just started studying and reading that there's actually an art form and there's a, there's a science to getting deals. 
Like it's not just magic. You just don't go like, hey, you want to buy a house? And you're like, yeah. You know, <laughs> there's a whole there's a whole science to it. So I studied right. the science. You know, I read the books. The books told me to do certain things. And I, you know, applied all that information I learned. And you know, I slowly, slowly got better. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Some of, like, give me give me like one book that you read. Uh one of the most influential books in my life is this mm-hmm. book called 10X. 10X. It's uh, written by this guy named Grant Cardone. And that book, Ooh. um, yeah, yeah. I mean, 10X, the, the big the thing about 10X is just it's also about everything you do, just do 10 times more. That's it. Wow, a lot of intensity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so basically, like what you what, what at that at one point, what I'm doing to get clients is like in, introducing to myself to people like hey, my name is Easy. I'm a real estate mm-hmm. agent. I can help you buy a house. So I might do like two people a day or three people a day. But if you do 10 times more of that, that's 30 people a day, seven days a week. That's 210 people in a week. So your results are just better. Yeah. And you're also, you're also getting better because you're doing it more. So your, your spill is better. So that one, that one book was very influential. Um, I read a lot, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, just talk about, about different things that have yeah. to, do with, to do with sales. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. I love that you, um, just from listening to you talk, you definitely invest in yourself, knowledge, mm-hmm. self-education. Yeah. And that's an, a big thing that we always like to promote on the show with, to our viewers uh, that are, you know, a lot of people are just, they have big dreams. A lot of people have big dreams. They want to mm-hmm. accomplish, you know, some of the things that you have on your goals, um, mm-hmm. they want to accomplish so many different things. Um, but many people are not invested in themselves. They're not reading the books. They're not watching the YouTube videos. They're not yeah, yeah. Uh, getting engaged. And maybe some people also struggle with, um, what's the word? A thinker's block or mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. trying to consume, consume. They don't actually put out anything mm-hmm. of their own. Yeah. Now, with that being said, I... See your Instagram and man, you post like I don't know ten times a day. I don't know how you do it. Well, twenty. I'm like, every, oh my 20. god, that's, yeah. that's just that's yeah. is that part of the ten X? Yes, yeah, part, part of the ten X. That's part of the ten X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, congratulations on doing that because I cannot keep up. Um, I'll be lucky <laughs> if I post like one a week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. or even yeah. one a month. I got to get consistent with that, and I'll definitely yeah, but- look into that book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you see the results, though. I don't know if you see the results. No, I do see the results. I, yeah. I do. <laughs> I do. I saw you got an award recently, right, uh, mm-hmm. for the community, because you're not just, you know, people you hear the word realtor, real estate agent. Mm-hmm. It's it's so, like, common these days, but you do more than just that, right? You yeah. went to a festival the other day. You bought, mm-hmm. like, um, you supported some small businesses there, especially mm-hmm. with the with the... With the plates, the plates, the plates yeah, yeah, the plates, yeah, right. Yeah. And and you're doing that. You bought the plates yeah. so that you can give it to a uh, a prospective client. Clients, yeah. And so yeah. you're thinking ahead. And a lot of um, agents that just see this as a job, you don't necessarily see it as a job. I can tell that there's definitely some level of passion here. Um, mm-hmm. So that's quite ad- admirable. So when it comes to dreaming big, a lot of people again do not act on their dreams. What made you so confident enough to kind of act on your dream? I know some of the motivation, as you mentioned, was from the frustration or kind of like the betrayal from that real estate agent on that mm-hmm. deal. Yeah. But was there any other thing that just made you so confident? Because, you know, I've tried to get into real estate myself as a real yeah, like, get into the agent, passed my exam and I kept mm-hmm. failing. Mm-hmm. So many times I just quit. You know, I do. I'm a quitter, low key angle. <laughs> Nah, but nah, um, nah, nah. what made you so confident enough to kind of like, you know, set the momentum and the goal? And um, what challenges did you face early in your um, pursuit for this big dream of yours? Yeah, the big challenges, the biggest challenge for me is just like getting get in business. That's big. It's very mm-hmm. difficult. But like selling real estate is different from selling like dishes or food. Selling real estate, like average deal is 400000 500000 Those are big numbers. You know, the average person just can't pick up and buy it like that. Um, right. So, um, um, but, you know, I read the books. I, that's why I, the thing about the good thing about books is like, well, no matter what you're trying to do, somebody else has done it already. Right. Mm. And we're the 
at the age, the advantage, the advantage we have that we're born at this time is that everything is written down already. So you just have to read somebody else's success story. And success leaves, leaves trails. Mm-hmm. It's like a map. So everybody's success story is a little bit similar. So you read Oprah Winfrey's success story, then you read Jay-Z's success story, and you read Elon Musk's success story. And there's one thing they always say, I just never gave up. I just kept on pushing. I just kept on working. I just kept on working. And before you know it, daughter, you know, and that's how it is. You just have to keep on working, keep on working, but not just working, you know, working and tweaking. Like you're working and you're getting, you're smart. You're like, okay, this didn't work. Let me just try to do this a little bit and try to do this, but you're just working consistently and you now add the whole 10X thing to it. Right. So everybody's Mm -hmm. working, everybody else is working. Because just mathematics, right? Everybody else is working eight hours a day or seven hours. I mean, everybody's truly working five hours a day because of all the breaks. They're yeah. working five hours a day, but I, in my mind, is like, I'm going to work 16 hours a day, like really work 16 yeah. hours and eat a little bit inside. So <laughs> just, be, uh, just based on mathematics, in a short, uh, shorter amount of time, I'll just surpass you. No matter, even if you've been doing it before me, even if you started before me, but just because I'm just committed to that and I'm putting in the work and I've read all the books that tell me what to do and the directions to go to hire people. There's some books that teach you, because this is one of the problems small business owners have. For example, they don't want to hire. Mm. They don't want to hire people. They just want to keep it small. I want to keep the business small and tight. I just want mm-hmm. it to be run a tight ship. So you see that mentality is a problem. And, yeah. you know, at one point I, I had that mentality, but you read a book, it tells you, oh, no, 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 no. You could do more if you have more people helping you. You know, you could do more marketing if you're paying people to do more marketing. For you know, sure. stuff like that. So when you now apply that, in, in, a five year, in five years, you could crush all your competition. Yeah. Because, you know, I, you know, like, we're not, like, built the way like our great grandparents were built, like, you know, the attention span span of people are, is, is so short. They're not putting in that much, much effort. And a lot of, not everybody, but a lot of people are not really willing to put in the work. So no matter what field you're in, if you're committed and you put in the work in a five, in five years, you could dominate the space. I love that. Yeah, and I see, I see your um, again trajectory, the progress, the improvements, the mm-hmm. the revamp of your brand as well in terms of mm-hmm. your content creation on Instagram. Yeah. You know, I've been mm-hmm. seeing those really nice, clean and crisp videos, yeah, yeah. even with the launch of the car, and yeah. you know, I, I think that's really dope as well. Yeah, shout out to Wale. Wale did that. I don't know if you know Wale. Wale uh, does all my videos. Shout out to Wale, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, you really, again, have been very involved in community. Um, and I mentioned earlier that you just received recently an award, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and in order for one to do that, they have to have built a level of trust, right? Mm-hmm. Trust is a huge part, especially in the home buying, you know, process. Because like you said earlier, people are purchasing. That's a big decision to make mm-hmm. uh, a purchase of 400000 versus you know, getting a car or getting yeah, some yeah. food or anything, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And so how do you build trust um, with your clients? And how does that trust um, contribute to your success in helping many people become homeowners? Uh, education. So I mm-hmm. educate people. Uh, like, you know, you know, I make videos every day telling people different scenarios I've personally be, been in. I'm just educating people about, oh, what's the honest money deposit? What's an inspection? What's this? Mm-hmm. Then I have these seminars where I teach people the whole process from the beginning to the end about home buying for free. Yeah, I mean, you, you've been to, you've been to like I've been to a seminars. couple. Yeah, yeah you've been to a couple of my seminars. Yeah, exactly. So I have these seminars where where I teach. So you know when you educate them and you and you actually there's actually a lot of success stories, like a lot of success mm. stories. You know, like. It's a no-brainer. Like everybody knows that. Oh, that guy, he's different. Like he's not really about you know. There's money involved, but it's not really really about money, money like that. Like he's educated me, and some people actually get this education and they go with a different real estate agent. You know, that's a risk mm-hmm. that you, you know take. that comes. Yeah, that you take. 
but I'm educating them, telling them, telling them everything they need, they need to look out. They use the information and go with another real estate agent. I don't necessarily yeah. care, but, but the people, people are smart. They're like, okay, if I want to do business, I'll do business with that guy that's telling me for free. Yeah. That's showing me step by step. That's inviting me to the seminar, not charging me because you know, seminars, they charge you. Some people yeah. charge like $50, $100. And even if they charge you $50, it's, it's still a good investment. Yeah. Because you're, you're getting knowledge and it costs money to, to, to host the seminar. But for me, it's, it's for free. I'm giving back to my community, you know, so, so people, people um, see that and, you know, it resonates with them. So they, they decide to work with me. No, I really love that. I think, yeah. um, and I value that. I know, I, I think you sent me something for the 27th of this month, right? Yeah, I'm having a home buying seminar on the 21st. That's why he moved village. Ah, oh, nice, nice. But I'm also having a networking event mm -hmm. at, on the 27th. Okay. And that's gotcha. at uh, Cleopatra's Winery. Winery. Ah, yeah. the connection from the festival. Yeah, I remember. You have that, a right? lot of, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love that. Yeah. And and yeah. um, so I, I love that, you, again, you, you're you also doing a lot of collaboration as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we've yeah, talked yeah. about how, you know, for some small business owners, some of the challenges is that they're they don't they're want to be so um, in control of their business mm -hmm. that they don't release certain you know workloads to you know or collaborate yeah. with other people as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. can you speak up speak on that just a little bit in terms of the power of collaboration and partnership? Oh, it's, it's massive! It's massive! Like just today, this is today, like a couple mm -hmm. hours ago, I, I I made a music video, right? I don't, I can't rap, I can't sing. <laughs> I made a video, music video with my guy, Shola, right? He has an album yeah. called Unstoppable. We did a video together, right? He's playing a saxophone. I'm doing my little two-step in the video, but my vehicle is there. And basically the vehicle is showing my car, my business and what I do. But we came together, like no pride, no, oh, I'm a big boss. Da, 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 da. Oh, you have more followers than me. Nothing, just like two people coming together to just collaborate with each other to put our work. And we put it put our work and we got a lot of great response on social media. Everybody was like, da, 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 da. oh my God, this is so funny because I'm dancing. Like everybody, you know, I'm always wearing a suit. So they see me dancing and he's playing the saxophone. He playing the song like Flavor. Um, I think it's called Big Baller. Yeah, Big Baller. Yeah. So that's, that's this collaboration is fun. He has like, I don't know how many, he has tens of thousands of followers. followers. I have tens of thousands of followers. We, you know, some people are like, who is that guy? So this other lady was like, I like music like that. Where can I get that album from? You know, mm. like these people are talking like, yo, look, how do you get easy to dance like Puff? You know, like Puff. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of these uh, videos. Yeah, so um, it was. Yeah, I feel was, you. If I do a lot of stuff like that, then this event that's happening on September 27th mm -hmm. is with Cleopatra. She's the first African immigrant to own yeah. a winery in the whole country. Like, listen, in the whole country, the whole United that's States. That's big, yeah. That's yeah, big, like, yeah. Like, so why wouldn't I want to uh, collaborate with her and be part of history? You know, and, you know, like, you know, I do a lot of networking events, so I'd rather have it there, help a business, she helps my business. We're all together, man. No, I agree. I think yeah. that's dope. And yeah. um, for those that are watching, I hope this encourages you to, you know, be creative, you know, think outside mm -hmm. the box and collaborate, partner with, you know, mm -hmm. local business owners and just your peers in general. I always mess yeah. up that word, peers. <laughs> I sound <laughs> like I'm... <laughs> uh -huh.